Hello, this is Justin with Subboard Guide, and we are going to be reviewing the Sea Gods Diatom inflatable paddleboard today. Um, it's one of our top rated boards for 2021. It's a newer company and we're kind of more introducing them this year, but we were very excited with everything that they've done and we're very excited to tell you about this board. So let's dive in. <music> All right, we're gonna talk about everything that's included in the kit when you buy the Sea Gods Diatom. And starting with the backpack. Um, you can see here the backpack is a really comfortable backpack when you're hiking around. The wheels are on the back side, which is nice because then it doesn't hit kind of like your, your upper leg, lower butt area when you're walking around with a bag. And the bag is probably one of the one of the higher quality bags that we've seen this year the nylon is a very thick durable nylon and the zipper is a very high quality like this bag's going to last a long time and it just does a fantastic job one thing about this bag that's a little bit different first of all you notice it stands up really well right you do have to pack it a certain way because the zipper is on this kind of this back side where your back goes up against instead of the front side. That's nice for when you're wheeling it around because it does keep all these straps and everything out of the wheels from getting tangled there. So let's unzip it and see what all comes included. Right. So I've wrapped up the bet, wrapped this up just like I would recommend with the Sea Gods, um, where everything kind of go, you roll it around or inside the board, right? So inside the bag, you do have a place here for the fin in the center here, where you can store the fin and put that there. There are not, uh, one thing that I would like to see is maybe if they added a pouch up front here, you have this really nice bungee area where you can do a lot of cool stuff with, but it, an extra pouch would be nice there. But again, everything I'm gonna show you here all comes. It, it's, you don't have to buy anything extra. Really the only thing you need to buy to get out on the water would be a, a life jacket, right? Okay, so you see I rolled everything up inside it. That just makes it real easy to put in and take out of the bag and you have a ton of space in there. So included in the kit, the thing I like to start looking at is the pump. It's a single chamber dual action pump. So what that means is you can get air going into the board both on the upstroke and on the downstroke. And it is, I, I would say it's not the fastest pump because it's not a dual chamber pump. The advantages of that, there's advantages and disadvantages. Advantage is that it's nice and light, packs up really, really small and easy if you want to carry your backpack with this. Single chamber is generally what you want. You don't get as much volume going into the board, so it does take a little bit longer to pump it up, but it works really well and is a good quality pump. We generally recommend to buy an electric pump anyways, and so maybe that is kind of the best of both worlds where you have a nice small pump that you can use when you're traveling or backpacking and you have an electric pump for the normal days out at the lake. You also get a, so this is a single fin board and what they've done, it's really cool, this Kumano click fin system where you can see there's no bolts, there's no nothing. All you do is like snap it in and you're good to go. And it, it, it is a universal fin box. So if you do lose this, you can go to a surf shop, buy online, any other fin. Really love how they've done that. You also get a three-piece carbon fiber paddle. So it's carbon fiber shaft, nylon blade, and I really do like the shape of the nylon blade. Um, and I like the feel of the carbon fiber shaft. They, it has a really good solid feel. It doesn't twist in your hand when you're, when you're paddling. There's this groove here, you can see, as it slides in, that groove keeps that top part from twisting at all, even when it's not locked down. So when you lock it down here, it's even tighter and you can tighten these screws, but fully adjustable. Um, 
doesn't twist, lightweight, really good quality paddle for a kit paddle. Um, you can, I mean, there are nicer paddles out there that you can go spend two, three hundred plus dollars on, but for a kit paddle, really good solid paddle. We like that. Also comes with your standard repair kit with this, with the wrench for the valve. If you just make sure you do keep this, it does have a couple patches in it as well. If you do happen to get a little puncture, um, you can kind of just keep this around. You're probably not going to need it every once in a while. Um, maybe once every, once or twice every couple years, you might need this wrench. So just keep it on hand so you don't lose that. And then finally, you do get a nice 11 foot coil leash. The coil keeps, keeps the leash out of the water and on the board, but also out of your way. It full, full swivel, um, really nice and comfortable. So again, everything that you pretty much need to get out on the water other than a life jacket comes included in the kit. And we like everything that does come included. All right, so now we're gonna dive into all the different features of the board, and we're gonna start from the front and kind of just work, work our way to the tail. So the front, other than the beautiful graphic design that you see, you do have this six D-ring bungee area. So this is a great area to just hold a lot, of, a lot of your cargo. I like the fact that they made the front area large because that's where I typically like to put the cargo so I can see it. Um, so you have that at the front. Moving back, you have this really nice, gorgeous EVA deck pad, right? Um, it's really good, high quality EVA foam. There are, di it's diamond grooves and everything is printed on it. And what's nice about that is it's all one piece. So you don't have any failure points like you do with some other boards when they're, when they have, you know, different sections of the, of the deck pad coming together. So really good deck pad offers good traction. I wouldn't mind seeing these diamond grooves just a little bit deeper. Um, but to be honest, I've never had any issues slipping and the water does run off it. So really good job on that. You also have a nice center handle for carrying the board, for launching it, for taking it out. I wouldn't mind, I, to be honest, I would like to see a front handle and a rear handle just to help with that. Um, especially if you have kids kind of carrying the board. Um, it also really does help when you're launching it specifically, but good quality handle here not going to fall not going to not going to deteriorate in the sun or fall apart really good job by sea gods then moving to the rear you have a smaller bungee area here so four d rings so in total you have six four plus one so 11 d rings total and this this rear bungee area is a smaller bungee area i think they've done that to make the deck pad more clean and open which i do really like but i would maybe like to see these d-rings move forward a little bit just to make this back bungee area just a little larger if you do want to store more gear but in general you can see it is an extremely beautiful board one of the most beautiful boards we've seen we get comments every single time we we break this thing out um, nice clean deck pads so you can move around and just do a lot of fun things with it all right so now we're going to look at the the dimensions of the board how they've constructed it, what they've built it with, and who the board is for, right? So looking at the board, you can see this is a on the larger end of the all-arounds. Um, it's 10, 10 foot, six inches long. It's 34 inches wide, it's six inches thick. So you get a lot of volume and a lot of weight capacity. So Sea God's listed at 340 pounds. We've tested it up to 400 pounds, and yes, it's slower at 400 pounds, but it actually can hold it. Wouldn't recommend necessarily paddling across the lake at that. Um, but we do feel pretty confident in their 340 pound weight capacity. Um, how they've done that is, you know, one of the things that's actually kind of interesting is for a larger board, this is one of the lightest large all around subs that we've tested. It's only 21 pounds. So they use a dual layer fusion technology and all that's kind of wrapped around a really high density drop stitch. And it feels, I mean, you do have different densities of drop stiff, different thickness on the PVC. And from our bend tests and our paddling test, it definitely feels like they've used the higher end materials on all of those things. So it's a really nice rigid board. It goes up to 20 PSI and just performs really well in the water at 21 pounds. So if you're someone who wants a larger all around, but that's lighter weight, this is a really good option for you. Um, from a shape standpoint, you can see it is an all around board. You have a lot of width throughout, both uh, at the front, the nose of the board, tapers a little bit at the end, but it's, it's kind of like that all around, not full cruiser, definitely not touring, 
leans a little bit more to the cruiser shape on the all-around side of things, but still does really well. Um, and so kind of who this board is for. If you're someone who is worried about stability, if you're someone who wants to load up a lot of gear on a board, if you're someone who wants probably going to be the best looking board out on the lake or at the ocean, um, this board's a really good option for you. You know, for me, I've got a handful of kids that always love to come paddle with me. I can throw them on with some gear. You know, you could take this even down kind of a river because of that width gives you, gives you that stability. Um, but you can still tour across the lake on it, right? Like a lot of times people think when we say like this board's not quite as fast as their touring boards and they'll think, oh no, it's a super slow board. That's not really the case. Most speed is hindered a little bit by that 34 inch width. But if you, as you get more comfortable with the board and improve your paddling technique, you can definitely keep up with your friends as you paddle across the lake. So just in general, it's a great all around large volume high weight capacity stand-up paddle board that will be fantastic in a lot of different situations. Okay, and so included with the board is this, it's a single fin using this Kumano click fin system. Um, really cool how this works. You can see it's, I mean, it's a US fin box, so you can use any fin you want, or you can just use what they've got and just slide it in and you just push it down, right? It's a little bit hard sometimes, especially if you're on the water, to push it down. Right there, right? But it it's very firm, it's not going anywhere, and it's a really nice system because you don't have to worry about the other stuff, but it still is a universal fin box, so I love that about this board. Okay, so now we're onto the performance section of the review, and when we're looking at performance of a board, the, one of the first things that we look at is stability, right? Like if, you, if it's not gonna be stable, it's A, you're not gonna be able to paddle it, right? But for a large board like this with as much volume, it should be a stable board. So if it's not stable, that kind of indicates that the quality of construction isn't there. And that is not the case with this board. Like this board is a really good stable board. You know, when I get on a board, I like to just get a good feel for kind of that first level stability. How much can I go side by side before I fall in? And as you can see, like I'm not even close. I'm pushing down pretty hard. And it's a, it's a very stable board. So if you're someone that is concerned about stability and wants a beautiful board, this is a great option. Um, it's, you know, the width of the board being 34 inches wide and that 10 foot six length just really does give a nice platform to kind of move around on. You know, if you want to start, you know, practicing those step back turns, et cetera, this is still a good board for that as well. You know, like you'll see here, pretty easy to step back and just casual, like this is kind of more of a casual one, but for a beginner even, this would be doable given the width of the board and how, how much volume and stability that you do get with it. So great job on the stability side of things. So next section on the maneuverability side of things, you already saw like how easy it is to do that step back turn, right? So very maneuverable there. The board, it's a single fin board and not having those side fins from a maneuverability standpoint actually enhances that maneuverability. You'll see it's pretty easy for me just to spin around here and kind of change directions. And so it, it, I would definitely say this has a more nimble feel than some of the other larger boards, um, the larger all around boards. And so if that's kind of the feel that you're going for, you'll really like this board. And we put, we chalk most of that up to that single fin system. Um, where you lose a little bit by having the single fin is on the stability side while you're moving. When you're moving, having those three fins does increase the stability. But as we already talked about, you get really good stability on the board. So I, I kind of like that combo. Um, I still, like I'm, I'm kind of in discussions with Sea Gods about moving to a three fin system or not. And there really are give and takes both ways. Um, if you're most concerned about the stability side, you do lose a little bit of that, but you gain on the maneuverability. So that's kind of where this board sits. Now, from a tracking and then also a speed standpoint, right, that single fin, it's a large fin and it's a US fin box. So if you want even a larger fin, you, you, can, you can slip that in. Um, in general, the board tracks really well but it is not gonna track quite as well as a, as a tri-fin setup will. But 
kind of like we always talk about, tracking is about 85, 90% plus your paddle technique. So if you want a board to go straighter, work on your paddling, right? Um, but this board you definitely can track really well. Usually I get somewhere between six and eight strokes per side before I have to change sides. Um, and just like I said, has a has a really nice glide and feel to it. As we kind of move from a speed standpoint, it's a quicker board than you would expect for something this large. You know, it's 10 foot six long, so it's not, you know, the longer the board, usually the faster it is. So it's not gonna be as fast as like the 11.6 boards that we get, like the Blackfin, um, for example. Where I feel this board makes up for it on the speed would be more actually on the quickness side because it's only 21 pounds. You really can get this board up and moving quickly and it just feels light on the water. The glide and the feel of it while you're, while you're paddling is just a really nice feel and I really like that about it. Um, and so from a speed standpoint, if you want a larger board, you're really not sacrificing much speed at all. Yes, Sea Gods has their touring board, the Carta Marina, or their racing sup, if you're really going for like a more dedicated touring speed board, but this will definitely perform well as a good quality all-arounder. All right, so as you can tell, like we're pretty big fans of Sea Gods. It is a new company. Um, and usually that kind of gives us a little bit of reserve, but I've been talking with them for about two years now. And I can tell you that they really care about their boards. They really care about their customers. And so it's kind of a nice little sweet spot where it's still a small company where you can get a hold of, you know, the people you need to, and they're gonna t go above and beyond to take care of you with their warranties. Um, and they, they really just have a passion for paddleboarding. They're out paddleboarding all the time and it's a passion project, but they also have that good business sense. So I've been very impressed with Sea Gods. Um, very, really love how their boards look from a design standpoint. It's probably the most beautiful subs that we've seen. Um, and that kind of shows their passion, right? Like every little detail is taken into account. And I'm really excited to see what Sea Gods does going forward. With, with the Diatom specifically, um, kind of bottom line is just, it, it really is one of our top rated all-arounders. And it's just really good for all, a lot of different situations from the river to the lake to even doing yoga. You know, they do have a dedicated yoga, yoga sub, but you could do yoga on this one given the platform. If you want to carry a lot of kids, use it as an adventure sup. It's going to do great for that. And the fact that it's only 21 pounds just makes it so much easier to carry to and from. Or if you need a backpack in for a mile or so, the backpack's very comfortable. It's a lighter package in general. And I just like to see that with an all-around board because if, if you can only buy one board, generally the all-arounder is what you're going to buy. And this will really do a good job in all of those situations. So, you know, kind of bottom line, we definitely give it two thumbs up and think the Sea, sea Gods has done a fantastic job, which is why we've added them to our, added this board to the list of our favorite all around SUPS for 2021. And we're very excited to see what they do going forward. Um, as always in these reviews, if there's anything that we've, that we've missed or skipped over and you have a question on, please leave that question down in the comments. You know, give us a thumbs up if you like what we've done and definitely follow us up, follow us. We'll be doing a lot more videos in the future about kind of paddleboarding tips, other reviews, etc. And you'll also have a link down below to the full in-depth review on our website with, with a lot of pictures and just a lot more of kind of the nitty gritty details. So be sure to follow that link and learn more. And again, if you have any questions, just let us know.